Hi everybody. Today, Miss French and I are going to discuss paint. Yay! Everybody wants to paint, right? That's right. And this video will be helpful to not only kids at home, if you just want to paint on the, like even our kids that are in class, if they just want to paint on a regular basis, where they can go and buy paint, where they can find inexpensive paint, where they can find good paint, we're going to find a variety of it. But especially for our kids who are actually working on class from home and want to know, to work on this project, where can I go and pick up paint? So we've come up with three different options. We're going to find some goodies here at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so we, there's your spoiler, it's the Dollar Tree. Also, when we're going in, I want to be specific about what we're looking at. We're going to be looking for items that will help us with paint, not just paint. Um, in terms of paint, what should the kids be looking for for colors? Because there are some options there. There are some options. So, of course, if you have an unlimited budget, then get all the colors. But if you're on a budget, then you, ha you should get red, yellow, and blue, our primary colors, plus white and black. And with those colors, you'll be able to make every other color you could possibly need. That's right, because the primary colors mixed together, and you know, certain colors mixed together, can help us to make the secondary colors. Correct. Very good, very good. This is really interesting. So here we are, we're gonna check out Dollar Tree right up here, and we'll show you what we can find inside here. The toy and craft aisle and oh lo and behold here we go tons of different kinds of paints what do we got here so here's paint we're looking we are looking for acrylic paint so if they have they have two different kinds here so it doesn't matter so she just picked some of these up off the rack and some of these down here on the shelves it doesn't matter which kind of these you get acrylic paint is going to be the best kind of paint Rich Art, not a brand that we're necessarily familiar with. This is going to be kind of a cheaper brand that you can find here uh, that change around. I do see even like they got praying paint on the back, on the bottom, which is... And they is, have Crayola paint here. And a few Crayolas. It can change from time to time at the dollar store. So if you're looking for paint at the dollar store, kids, you have a variety that can sometimes change. And as I said, here here is uh, the choices. Uh, as we move over, it's not just paint that they have. Brushes. Brushes. Okay, you're gonna need brushes. You are to gonna paint. need brushes, and this is a variety of sizes and brushes. They have multiple kinds here, okay. so that would be awesome. Okay. They have lots, of, lots of. Look at this. This is amazing. I can't get this one off. Okay. Uh, using acrylic, what is your suggestion for what type of brushes to be using? Uh, you like a little. Uh, usually, we like a little. They should be stiffer. We do. Right, we do like a stiffer brush. Stiffer brush. And these ones are nice because they got like some of them are squared off inside, but you definitely That's want to true. make sure that you have a couple thinner ones so that way you can do some detail. All that is true. So if you want to grab maybe two packs of these, that would be amazing. What about containers? You got oh, any? You know what? I do. So I was just looking around. Let me put these back. I was just looking around. So one option is over here. Oh, these are neat. This is neat. This is an organizer box, which is meant for like beads and stuff like this, but they all have lids. So if you were to squirt some paint in here, mix it around, this would save from day to day. That's neat. I like that a so lot. So that's cool. But we also have more ideas. Let's take a walk. I know they also have pallets, but you can use a plate for something like that, right? They do. So if you wanted to get one of these, this is six pallets. That's a lot of pallets, to be perfectly honest. This is what you can put your paint in. And if you use it all, you just rinse it off and then your pallet's always ready for you. Yeah. This is fun. They have big pallets too. Have you ever used a paper plate before? That's still an option, right? I constantly use paper plates. That's what I use at home. Another cheap option. Another all cheap All right, option. let's keep going. All right, so back here by the plates, Again, good palettes, but that's not all that's back here. What are these called? These are called condiment cups. Oh, because you put like uh, sauces, your ranch dressings, your ketchups inside stuff exactly. like this. Exactly. And so this is actually exactly what we use in our classrooms. Okay. So this would just be like if you were face to face. What's the benefit of having cups with lids? So then the paint will stay for um, a decent amount of time. So you can mix a color that you need and then you can use it over and over again for as long as we're doing the project. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so this is kind of what Dollar Tree has to offer. Where are we headed to next? We are going to head to... Walmart? Walmart? Yeah, let's do Walmart next. Let's, let's do Walmart got. next. 
All right, so now we're at option number two. Two. Which, in terms of bang for your buck, I'll say, is actually one of your better options. It is. Walmart doesn't have the best paint, but I would say the paint typically is better than Dollar Tree. It is. And oftentimes... Cheaper. Cheaper. And since just about everyone comes to Walmart, I think this is going to be a good uh, place to visit if you're looking for paint. So let's go in. So these Walmart stores, these Walmart stores can kind of vary in where things are located. So behind the scenes, we just walked around and finally found it. And you were excited because here, as opposed to the Dollar Tree, here they're all 50 cents. 50 cents. And I will say, I think there's a decent variety here. So if you can make it out to a Walmart instead of a Dollar Tree, you're probably going to have more options. Uh, you know, these aren't the big brands still, but I mean, 50 cents, you can't but beat it. But this is it. pretty good paint. Miss French has painted with this before. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, all um, good here. Similar options, we still have brushes available. Brushes, brushes. How are you feeling on the price of brushes? Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. I would get like a pack that has both flat and um, fine tip. Yeah, these multi-packs are nice because you get a variety that's of That's good, because if you get two of these, that's going to be way more expensive. So I would get this variety pack right here. Very good. Get a bunch of brushes. Get a bunch of brushes. In terms of the paint, do you think these these this size will probably be pretty good for what the kids need? I think so. Okay, so because I see on the bottom they have some larger. They do. So unless so. you're planning on doing like a lot of painting outside of class. Or if you're just worried about it, you I mean, you can get a big one too. Or you could get two little ones. What's it doesn't the, matter. What's the big one go for? The big one goes for 377. Okay, okay. So for our needs, probably the smaller ones will be Oh no. But no, there are other one. acrylic paints over here. Oh, I here's... don't know about these, but these are tubes of acrylic. If you prefer a squeeze bottle like this, I mean, yeah. they're all squeeze bottles, but these are really easy to go with. They have all the colors you could look for. These ones are two bucks a piece. Yep. Two bucks a pop. There's also big, you can get all the colors in a little tube here. Excellent. So you have a lot of options here at Walmart. And lots of brush options over here. Look. Looking here. I like this. This is good. This, this is, is good a, stuff. This is some good, good stuff. We, we can were... also, I'm sure, look, containers. Oh my gosh. And these are, again, like bead storage containers. They are bead these storage could, containers. These could work for, for our needs. They could, 100%. Excellent. What would be the higher end? Like, what, if we were to make one more stop, what would you say would be like a higher end type of thing? I think we should make a stop at Michael's. Okay, Michael's, sure. Michael's or Michael's. Joanne's, right? Joanne's a choice as well. Joanne's is, but Joanne's is more a fabric store. Okay. It would definitely have paint for you. Okay. But Michael's is an arts and crafts store. Okay, let's head to Michael's. Excellent. All right, let's do this. All right, last stop. Stop sign, sorry. Michael's. Michael's. Michael's Arts is actually in the name, Arts and Crafts. And this paint is going to be some of your better quality paint? It is. It's what Mr. Specht and I would have used when we were in school. Yeah. So it's good stuff. Yeah, this is, we oftentimes in college, if I needed paint, I'd come here and yep. pick up some paint. It's, it's what we would come and buy if we were doing a piece of art. And, right and the prices are reasonable. It's not as cheap as Walmart or even Dollar Tree, sure. but it is reasonable. Also, there's an app that offers you coupons all the time. That's true. That's so true. So it's a constant coupon fest there in your app and they're always available so that's a good tip and you should always use them all right let's peek and see what they have in michael's it's all paint. you have a large variety of different kinds of paints but they're not all acrylic we're looking for acrylic they're not all acrylic you have a lot of different kinds focus on your acrylic paints first okay so here is like michael's brand acrylic this is good good yeah it's gonna be your best value and they have every color available we're seeing now they're at about a four dollar rate so it is a little bit more but again if you're looking for a uh better quality product oh my gosh you found some cool things in the bottom here didn't you so, yes they have some packs here for oh, you those are neat so you can get a variety of colors yep Remember, we're focusing on the, uh, you know, if you can make sure you have the black and white and the primaries, you're good. But if you want to expand and get other kinds, you're more than welcome to do that. But so this is Liquitex. It's pretty good. I've used it before. Um, That's going for about $5 a bottle. It is, it is. 
and they have a basic one that's that's a monster one. bottle that's a monster bottle it's a little more expensive but I, oh, this is just their basics in a different brand so it's good it's a good good base paint good stuff have it in every color um do they have a liquitex basics they do Oh, wow. Look at this. Primaries plus black and white. They can Perfect. make you everything. Man, this how much did that one go for? This is $20. Okay, so for $20, I could get everything, a very good quality paint, everything, one-stop shop. Anything else we need to see in terms of paint? Um, I mean, they have other kinds. These will do you. Okay. These will do you just they, fine. They actually get more expensive from there. So. They do. There's, there's plenty of other kinds. These, one, these ones are fine. What about brushes? Because you showed us a lot of brush packs, and I'm sure they have brush packs here, but you can actually buy brushes in singles. They, um, what would be, if, if I was buying in singles, what would be like the necessary brushes to have? So, definitely like one of these. Okay, this is a I'll larger look, one. A larger. Squared end and flat ends, and it covers a lot of ground when I'm trying to paint something it big. Does. Very good. And then we're also going to need like a small detailed brush of some sort. Cool. Brush packs, a lot of variety over here. Again, it's really dependent on what you're looking to pay. Here's a good one. This was going for $8. Okay. So if you're looking for a better brand of brush, $8 is is what they have now, here. this one's only $6 and it has a whole bunch of brushes in it. Right, that's neat. So it's got flat, it's got single tips. You would not even is... need this many brushes, but it is close. cheaper with more brushes. So you got a couple different options there as well. Um, palettes I'm seeing. Unfortunately, some of their containers seem to be kind of empty here. We don't have a ton, but look no, at they these. They do have look one these, that has little lids on it. That's good, that's good, that's... These are Maybe nice. It's, this one's four dollars. That one's good. I don't know how much that is. But, uh, Six dollars. Yeah. So everything is available here, same as it was everywhere else. A little so, more expensive, but also a little better quality. Just to sum it up, if I'm looking for a decent product for a inexpensive price, what would be your your choice for that one? My my best choice altogether, best value. Best paint. Best Let's paint. go to Walmart. Okay, Walmart, Walmart. And if I'm looking to have uh, the nicer paints, if I'm looking to have that kind of stuff, money is no option, no. Money is not as much of a, of a problem. You'd go Michaels? I would go Michaels. And Dollar General is just if it's close. Dollar, Dollar <laughs> Tree is if it's close. And if that's what you can get, then go there. There is still a variety of paint to choose from. Right. So take a look at it, figure out which one you want go for it. Okay, so those are a couple different options for everybody. Have fun, go find some paint, and we hope you're ready to get started in just a little while.